Hello, and welcome to this video about the Fitness Coaching Portal Notion template. In this video, we'll explore how to use it from both the worker's and the client's perspectives. So, without further ado, let's dive into the tutorial. Click the Starter button at the right of the dashboard to get started. Here's the welcome page, where you can set up the presentation of your services. Since this is what clients will see, make sure to introduce yourself authentically. To help you, there's a detailed guide on the presentation board at the top, organized by theme. It includes pages for introducing yourself, sharing your values, providing easy access to your business information, and detailing your mission. You can fully customize this section by adding images, links, callouts, and more. On the left, you'll find a button for easy navigation to the next step. The client intake form is perfect for gathering essential information about your client before starting the coaching process. Tailor the questions based on the type of coaching you offer to ensure you're getting the most relevant details. This will help you better understand your client's needs. You can fully customize this page to suit your style. Now, let's move on to the next step. Welcome to the Fitness Program page, where you can create a tailored workout plan for your clients. This page is organized into modules, each containing multiple sessions that you can schedule based on the client's preferred calendar. Every session is packed with exercises to build a comprehensive workout routine. Now, let's walk through adding a new module. To get started, click New and rename your module. Then, open the Properties menu by clicking here. This allows you to add an image to represent your module, either by uploading one from your files or embedding an image via a web link. You'll notice the page layout is designed for easy navigation, with the module's calendar on the left and the session board on the right. To create a new session, click the respective button and it will appear in the unscheduled section. You can rename it and drag it to the calendar to schedule it for your desired date. If you schedule it for today, it will automatically show up in the Ready for the Day section on the right. Next, open the session we just created to access its details. You can choose an existing session type from the list or create a new one by typing it in. Now, enter the estimated duration of the session so your client knows roughly how long it will take. Enter the time in minutes. Scroll down to configure the session. First, set a goal for this session in the Purpose section. Your client can then update the session status with just one click to mark it as started. In the Main Workout section, you can build a complete workout using exercises from the library. We'll cover creating exercises later, but for now, click New, rename the step, and select an exercise from the library. You can adjust the intensity, input the number of sets and reps, and set the rest time in seconds. Any required equipment will automatically be listed for your client. Repeat this process to design the perfect workout. Your client can also switch between two different session layouts by selecting the view menu above. When an exercise is finished, they can check it off, and the session's progress will update accordingly, based on the number of exercises. 
At the end of the session, you can provide additional instructions for a proper cool-down or final notes. Once complete, your client can mark the session as done. The progress will reflect in the module dashboard, updating as sessions are added or completed. A summary table at the bottom of the dashboard makes it easy to track all sessions at a glance. Now, head back to the fitness program page, where the module we created is displayed on the dashboard with all the relevant details. You can toggle Session for the Day to view today's session. You'll also find upcoming sessions for the week and a global monthly calendar that includes all scheduled sessions, regardless of the module. Let's move on to creating and customizing exercises. Click the Exercises database from the sidebar. As a fitness coach, it's crucial to personalize the exercises based on your expertise and your client's needs. To add a new exercise, click New and name the exercise. Select the muscle group from the list, or add a new one if needed. Choose the difficulty level and specify the required equipment. You can also add a detailed description, upload a video demonstration, and provide tips or highlight common mistakes. The Progress Tracker page enables your client to monitor their progress while giving you a clear view of their results. At the top, you'll find a weight loss section where the client can set a monthly goal and update their results based on their current weight. They can also upload progress pictures to visually track their transformation. At the bottom of the progress dashboard, there's an annual measurement section where the client can input their measurements each month. This provides you with a comprehensive overview of their progress throughout the year. The feedback section is easy to use. You can keep the existing questions or create new ones tailored to your client's experience allowing them to rate the service from 1 to 5. Just below, a pre-configured form enables them to answer questions related to the coaching. The consent form lets you outline all legal information related to the coaching, serving as a full contract for your client to read and review. Once both parties agree, your client can digitally sign the form by simply clicking here. On this page, you'll find your invoices, payment details, and contracts. To add a new invoice, click the New button, rename it, and enter the invoice and due dates. The payment term will automatically update to show the number of days until payment is due. Enter the amount to be charged, which will appear on the dashboard. The invoice status will initially be set to Draft, but you can update it to Paid once you receive payment. Only invoices marked as paid will be included in the invoices report. If needed, you can also mark the status as canceled. 
add any necessary attachments using the corresponding property, and customize the pre-configured invoice template by entering your client's information and adding services in the designated area by clicking the plus button. To access the Contracts section, return to the Payments and Contracts page and scroll to the bottom. Here, you can create as many contracts as needed. Click the New button, rename the contract, select the contract type and date, and customize the pre-configured template if necessary. Your client can then sign the contract with a simple click. The meeting section is used to schedule appointments with your clients. To schedule a meeting, click the action button on the left. A new line will then appear in the inbox section, allowing the client to select a date based on your business hours and the times set on the introduction page. Be sure to add an end date and include the time option. Tags indicate the nature of the meeting and the priority property lets you rate the meeting from not important to very important. Click the checkbox to move the meeting from the inbox to the regular view. Below, you'll find a board displaying all your upcoming meetings and a monthly calendar. The Messages section allows you to communicate with your client regarding the project. Everything you need will be available in your portal. Click the first action button to get started. The new entry will appear in the inbox section. Rename the message, choose the subject based on the content, and select the priority. Once set, you can send the message, which will then appear in the Sent Messages section, allowing you to reply. Open the message to view its content, then reply as needed and update the status by marking it as replied or canceled if necessary. Messages that receive a reply will appear in other columns, making it easy for the client to see your response. Feel free to archive messages as needed to keep the dashboard refreshed.